Alan Corey has one of the most recognisable voices on the Kiwi dance scene. She's collaborated with many other artists and performed countless shows and she has now just released her debut EP, Later for the Real Show. Welcome to the cafe, Helen Corey. Oh, yes. Thank you. It seems like I've heard your name associated with so many people um, and so many different acts mm. that to have your own EP out, Congrats, it must feel like Thank quite a you. milestone. It really does feel like a milestone. <laughs> I feel like I have uh, people, I was in, uh, a, there was going to be an issue with people thinking that my name was Feet Helen, you know? Yes. Like, yes. Uh, yes. It, was, yeah, it was a real issue. But um, I kind of feel like I've, I've graduated a little bit. It's kind of one of those things that um, you really aim to do as a musician. You know, you do an EP and then you do an album or sort of something like that. So I'm, I'm really happy. And how long did it take to put something like this together, you know? class, so to speak, before Ooh. graduation? Um, it took me a lot longer than it probably should have. <laughs> um, it took me about a year and a half, but I owned a bar and was running it, and so um, I was fi trying to find time um, to do it. And um, so now that it's done, oh, uh, nice. yeah, it feels, it feels really good. Feels How good. do you find time to do that when you're owning a bar and running it? I mean, it was really difficult. I um, There were a couple of moments where I would be in the studio all day, go and open the bar, and then go back to the studio once it was closed. Um, lots of instances of me um, popping out to do a gig in the quiet times of the bar. So yeah, it's oh. been busy, a busy couple of years. So who are some of the other people that you have who, who, who has had feet, feet Helen on their albums <laughs> or on their songs? Um, I, my most recognisable song uh, collaboration is probably these, with these guys Jet Ski Safari, mm -hmm. a song yeah. called Like a Lie. Oh, that's right, um, yes. It's the song that everyone is like, play that song. Yeah. And I'm like, no. <laughs> <laughs> I've got new stuff. Got new stuff, yeah. Um, I did a song with Jupiter Project, a song called With You. That went gold. Mm, yeah, great track. Um, and then some local guys from Hamilton, uh, Stack and Peace, a song called Burning Out. Oh, it's kind of, it, the list is rather long. <laughs> and a great supportive community too, I guess, in New Zealand. And everyone's looking after one another, which yeah. is great. Some great collaborations. Has it always been dance music, or are you into something else? You know. Um, until I wrote Like a Lie, I yeah. was writing a folk album. So oh, I, I play guitar, um, I play a little bit of piano. So I've written a whole folk album, which I won't release. Um, like a Lie kind of propelled me into this electronic world um, of sort of pop and those sort of dance tunes, yeah. which I have not been able to shake. And so uh, that song was a song that really sort of um, helped me find my where I wanted to be in the Brilliant. music industry. So what is it about dance music that, that's got you? Um, there's only so many sounds you can make on a guitar and a piano. Uh, but electronic music, there is this this world of sounds. And so I was like, that's that sound that I hear in my head, I can find and make here in this electronic world. Yeah. And so that's what got me hooked. Okay, well let's talk about the EP. Let's talk about some of the tracks. La Femme mm -hmm. is one. Talk us through that. Uh, I um, wrote La Femme it was around the, the Me Too movement. Okay. I was having some really incredible conversations with um, my friends around, you know, what what we were facing, what mm -hmm. we have faced as females uh, in the creative industry as yeah. well, specifically in the creative industry for that group of friends, um, and and I wanted to say something too, and I had this opportunity, I have this platform to contribute, and. Um, so La Femme for me is a call to arms for all of those females um, to say something and also um, a thank you to those women that were standing up and saying something. Yeah, was there some sort of, to do that. Was there some sort of controversy with the video? You got banned, banned, didn't it? I got, Facebook. I got banned from Facebook. So what? my whole Facebook page got taken So what down. happened? So what did you do on it? What, um, was so, what was so terrible that it had to be banned? I I made a music video um, to, that sort of was a, really aligned with the song. It was about female empowerment and I wanted to celebrate how beautiful the female figure is. Yeah. Um, so I, in the video, there is a, a female dancer who's body painted. Um, her nipples are covered with gold leaf. Mm. Uh, she's wearing underwear. Uh, she's dancing like an empowered wild woman. Yeah. And that was it, enough Facebook, Facebook didn't like it. It was flagged by Facebook. Ugh. So um, who would have seen that and gone, oh, this is outrageous? Some... Well, this is, this is the thing that shocked me most about that. It's that it got to a human level um, and and someone at Facebook said, no, this is inappropriate. Have they seen half the content on Facebook? I know. Well, yeah. it's, really, it's really difficult, right? Yeah. Like, I kind of say, this is art. That's right. But mainly it's that if someone is telling us as women that our body is inappropriate, mm. 
what kind of message yeah. is that? It's really, it's it's a real, it's really challenging. It makes me really worked up, actually. Yeah. Um, but the best thing that happened was that when Facebook took my page down, uh, media got on board, and I got to have these incredible conversations with That's people, right. and I got to say exactly that that we shouldn't be, we shouldn't be um, censoring things that are empowering women mm. yeah and and facebook has a responsibility to sort of be up with the play on that right no, yeah you they really do round, I think. Oh, yeah, yeah got it back yeah, that's yeah. Right. <laughs> hey, so what else is on the ep uh so um i've got a new single called end of the night uh it's a bit more of a party anthem um it's got some really cool sounds in there the power the power yeah um a song about a song about being loved so much that you feel like the most powerful person in the world. Oh, that's nice. Mm, okay. yeah. oh, I'd like to know more about that. <laughs> <laughs> I've got some tips for you, Mark. Yeah. So what's next for you? Uh, I'm going to tour this EP around. I've got a few uh, New Year's festivals. Um, we'll just, yeah, I'll, I'll write an album and keep them coming. Awesome, but we're not going to see Helen Corey folk artiste anytime soon, no, are we? No, no, no. That well, one's been well buried. <laughs> yes, I think I will. We'll leave that one to lay. Excellent. <laughs> hey, it's been an absolute pleasure having you in the studio. Thank you, yeah. Helen Corey's debut EP, Later for the Real Show, is available right now.